We gon' bet it all, I know start off my day by looking at this screen uh, like I really want to get out of the habit of looking at my screen and I've been finding myself finding it difficult to find just like downtime and time away from the internet which is not good okay because it's not good for my eyes it's not good for my mind and it's not good for my spirit all right <laughs> but today I'm gonna start my daily journaling and I've been journaling forever I've been journaling since I was like nine or ten or maybe even before that um, it's just very therapeutic and it's a way to look back on your thoughts and see how you've thought like throughout your life you know so I'm gonna start journaling and the reason I've, I haven't been journaling as much as I used to is because I sometimes find it hard to, um, like it, it's not, it was never hard when I was younger because I would just write down my thoughts and like what happened in my day. But like as I got older, I was like, I don't know what to write about. <laughs> and they also have journals that um, have like writing prompts and I want to get one of those. But I'm going to just start writing down things that I want to manifest in my life and how I want my day to go and things that I, goals that I want to accomplish throughout the day and just things I want to accomplish throughout my life. And um, just, I'm going to start writing down all my thoughts again every day because I feel like it's very important. And also I have tons of journals that I have not finished and I have this really nice one that Billy bought me. Um, so yeah, I want to fill this baby up because these are literally like your personal books. These are your personal books for your life and maybe one day you can even um, publish your journal. I mean, I definitely want to publish a book one day. I started writing a book, but I backtracked because it just wasn't going the direction that I wanted it to. So I definitely need to get back on that bandwagon. But I'm going to start journaling and then I'm going to head to the gym and well before I do the gym I'm going to take the trash out because it looks disgusting and then I'm going to change out my gym bag. I mean you'll see what I do because I'm vlogging so I'm just going to stop talking and I'm going to journal. Leaves are falling. I wish I was in a prettier location, but this is what we get for now. A slight detour before the gym. Gotta take my little man potty. But yeah, it's turning into fall. Yay. podcast my hair is but yeah um i just got done watching this video about carnivores vegetarians vegans pestitarians breathitarians there's such thing as a breathitarian supposedly and basically the moral of the story is nothing is good for you because we don't control where our food is coming from because they're sprayed with all kinds of pesticides like even if you're a vegan like you don't know what kind of um, pesticides have been sprayed on your fruit unless you like 
have like a trusted farmer friend or you grow your own food, you never know what's going on. And also, even the air that we breathe isn't safe to breathe. So, I mean, the best you can do is just try to live a healthy life, which this week I am gonna be basically having a vegan diet because yeah, I'm gonna show you guys the, um, the meal I'm gonna make for myself this week. It's gonna be like a chicken salad, but with chickpeas. And it's gonna be hopefully good. I've never tried it before, so yeah. And also, I'm gonna buy a water distiller because supposedly distilled water is the best water to drink. So yeah, I just want to be, like I wanna elevate myself and be like the best version of myself as possible. So I gotta take baby steps and starting with my diet. I mean, I eat fairly healthy, but I still eat meat and I'm gonna have to stop doing that. Physique update. Billy is about to make me pancakes because like I just said, I'm so hungry. Um, on the weekends, I like to go to the gym fasted, but on the weekdays, I go to the gym at like, um, three so I've already ate in by then but actually I kind of um, intermittent fast so I don't really have like a lunch but that's gonna change because I feel like I'm getting too skinny Caleb come I feel like I'm getting too skinny I don't want to be too skinny nothing against being skinny but I don't want to be like but I feel like maybe it's like, I don't have clothes that fit me correctly. Because if I had clothes that fit me correctly, then I wouldn't feel like I'm too skinny. I feel like a lot of my clothes are just big. I'm just going to wait for my food to get done. Because Billy makes better pancakes than me. Like, I would make my own, but Billy just makes, like, perfect pancakes. And when they're finished, I'll be back. I'm going to try to, like, find a snack or something because I'm starving. <laughs> Potato wedges. Thanks, babe. Yep. I'm gonna put some peanut butter on top, and I just bought a new one, so I'm gonna finish this one off. And yeah, I'm about to eat. Bye. Me and Billy are about to go eat at this like vegan slash normal eating place. Well, eating vegan is normal. I'm on my vegan journey this week, okay? And yes, I've talked some shit about vegans, but some vegans are cruel, okay? So that's why I did it, but yeah, let's go. Get some food, get some food, get some food. I already know what I'm getting because I'm like one of those people that look up the menu online before they go somewhere, so yeah, let's go. I have eggplant lasagna. What'd you get, babes? I got chicken waffles. Looks good. Sorry, man. Look at that brownie. Mm. What do you rate the place? Eight out of ten. Eight? He liked it a lot. So did I. And I got leftovers. You? Ooh, look at that lighting. You look good. <laughs> babe, you look good, babe. Not everybody can look good like this. Oh my goodness. It's been a long